Right, so I'll do the essay and the rest can have a dosh, yeah? No, sorry, but I've had enough of this, son! I know you're winding me up, but, well, I shouldn't have grabbed you like that. I'm sorry. Right. The lazy and incompetent like things the way they are, because it's difficult for me to sack them. <laughs>
Well, there's a senior management meeting this afternoon. I wasn't told. Well, you're no longer senior management. Inspectors are very important people. They're coming to judge the school, and it's important that you behave yourselves if they come in here. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yes. The playground is full of litter. I want it all picked up. There's a thousand empty cans on the roof of the science block. I want them shifted. And there's a broken window in domestic science. I want it fixed. The inspectors are coming. I know. Time, time, time. No jewelry, please. Makeup, hair, jeans not allowed. Time, time, school shirt. Hope, all of you. Back in half an hour in proper school uniform. Go. You never put our work on the road. Shut up. Why don't you You're the biggest troublemakers in the school. That's why. I'm not letting you out of my sight until these inspectors are gone, right? You don't so much as breathe without my permission. You may breathe. One of the people who's down to inspect our English department. Thank you, Joanna. Yes. Thank you. He's a plumber, isn't he? Who told you that? Well, is he a plumber? He's a lay member of our inspection team. Ah, I'm all in favour of lay members. Fresh eye. They're not full of jargon. He's done eight years in a board of governors, and he's been intensively trained. Look, I have no problem with him whatsoever. It's just that, well, he's down to assess the English department. We're a bit short-handed at the moment. Look, I see your problem. You're doing a valuable job, but you've still got to eat. That means cutting a few corners now and again. I wouldn't call it cutting corners. Wouldn't you? We don't use this man as cheap labour. We use him because he's good. Insightful. Of course. I'm sure our report will be very positive. Thank you. Don't start cheating, man! Cut the cheek, man! Come on, one of us, okay? Leave the trees in the body! Please, man! Please, man! Stop taking the trees out of the ball, please! Get on with the game! Get on with the game! I don't believe you! It happened one day about noon, going towards my boat. I was exceedingly surprised with the print of a man's naked foot on, <laughs> on the shore, which was very plain to be seen in the sand. I stood like one thunderstruck, or as if I had seen an apparition. I listened, I looked around me, I could hear nothing nor see anything. And when Sooner sacked him, the papers offered him a load of money for his story, but he turned them all down. And that's another reason why the person I admire most in the world is Phil Thompson. Brilliant. There's a couple more I really liked. Sahira, will you read yours? Please? Shall I read it? <clears throat> the person I admire most in this world is my mother. She can do anything. She cooks. She cleans the house from top to bottom. There's never a speck of dust. She can speak three languages. Would you like to go to the Lusa here? You go with her, Justine. Vicky, I love yours. Can we hear it? 
person I admire most in the world is Sinead O'Connor. She's crap, she can't sing. Sinead O'Connor is well known because she can sing. She wet herself, Mum. Psychologists cost money. So we do not. I'll have a word with the boss. <sighs> An educational psychologist costs money. We've got it. Have we? A special needs budget. There's nothing left in it. Well, where's it all gone? Oh, here and there. Could you be a bit more specific? There's a coach party at the gate. They think it's Blackpool. Educational psychologists coming to the school. It's a bit like the old Nid nurse, isn't it? It looks bad. I've told them you'll do it. No, you shouldn't have done. Told ya. Shut it, you. Hey, eat a thing. I told her to ask you first. It's nothing to do with you. Nose. I won't tell you again. Just a bit. Hmm? Ow! What's wrong? She kicked me. I didn't. What have I told you? I didn't. She did it under the table. I never. Just behave, will you, the pair of you? Let's have a meal in peace for once. Come on, Sam, just a bit. Come on, Sam. Bigger bit, bigger bit, eh? Yeah. All the other dads are doing it. He's not painting your school. The council should do it. They won't. Tough. I hate this house. Baz is coming a date. What for? To babysit. We don't need babysitting. What have I told you? Shut up. You want to go out? Yes. I've got that to do. Marking? Yeah. <laughs> Tonight? Yeah. What's up? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Getting a shower. Why? What? Why? Because I feel like a shower. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. I didn't say anything. I'm sick of the dream. Four years of you coming home gabbing all night about that college. What you were doing, what you were learning. You never asked what me and the kids were doing. But I thought it would soon be over, back to normal again, but it's not. It's even less of you now. You never talk. Your mind's always elsewhere, and if it's not elsewhere, you're knackered, falling asleep in front of the telly, and I'm sick of it, right? I'm sick of it. Where'd you go? Just out. With Maggie? No. Then who? I just went out, right? 
You've been with someone, haven't you? No. You're lying, you've been with someone. I haven't. That's why you got in the shower, you dirty lying to a tiny. Then that's going off. Get loads of homework when you come to Northfield. Are you right? Yes. yes. Hi, Peter. See you, boys. Sure. See you, lads. Behave. Five minutes, then homework. Do you mind? I know it's best for my son. I'm not criticising you. Oh, thanks very much. I just don't think you should open up when he tries to say something. I'm sick of telling her that. You might be a teacher, Drew, but you know bugger all about my son, OK? Look, I'm not getting at you. Shut up. What? Is there a child to shut up? Don't you tell me to shut up. OK. You've got no right to tell hey, me hey, anything. Hey. OK, no Behave bloody yourself right whatsoever. The is, will so you? you just shut up, right? What's wrong with you two? One or two of you have been criticised. I'll be talking to them privately later. And uh, credit where credit's due. One member of the English department has been very highly praised. He's to be congratulated. Well done, Trevor. Thanks. What was the lesson? Uh, snakes and ladders based on Lord of the Flies. The plot's mapped out in squares and the kids have to decide whether what happens in the story is good or bad. If it's good, it's a ladder. If it's bad, it's a snake. Makes them use their own judgment, you know, gets uh, quite a lively debate going. Sounds brilliant. Well, moving on to sciences. Once again, a glowing written report, especially for physics. Some concern about procedure in the chemistry lab. Guess what I hey. found out about Shotton? What? He's a queer. He's a queer liar. Shotton's a queer. You sound? You want yourself, if you talk to him, you're a queer liar. You want Shotton. Right. You're queer, you're sushed, you're queer, you want shot. That's enough, right? Right. No one's queer. You call someone queer, I'll call you nigger, okay? What did you say last lesson, Trish? About punctuation, what did you say? Punctuation doesn't matter, that's what you said. OK, let's see. Someone read it. Come head, someone read it. Come head. OK, let's talk about what I said. Who wants to talk about what I said? Leroy. Who 
wants to talk about what I said? It was tight. What? It was tight. Yeah. Nigger's the word the white majority uses to keep the black minority in its place, right? Right. Queer's a word the straight majority uses to keep the gay minority in its place. Now, I'm not black or gay, but I understand that. Shouldn't a black lad understand it even more? Leroy, you use a word like queer, and it's one minority attacking another minority, and it stinks. Now, will someone read this? Come, Ed. Will someone read the bloody thing? How did you get blood on his shirt? It was just a brother on a just You must have seen him, did it then, mustn't you? No. Hey? You're lying. Your mate's coughed. He's coughed to everything. I don't believe you. He's made a statement. He's put it all down to you. Said you used the knife. He tried to stop I you. I don't believe you. Wouldn't you right? You stuck it in. You stuck it in good style. And that's going to get you 10 years, son. 10 years. What should he say, eh? Come here. Statements from a co accused aren't worth a carrot. He is right. Statements from a co accused aren't worth a carrot. A judge will say that. So you're wasting your time, right? But the judge is white and you're black, son. So we all glossed that over. The jury's still gonna hear it. No matter how he dies. Wasting your time, lad. They're still gonna hear it. Tomorrow, okay? And they'll do you for it. Ten years, no problems. So you better cough, son. I'm not coughing to nothing. I'm not listening. Intimidation, right? You better start blaming your mate, cause he's blaming you. That's the only chance you've I'm got. Not listening. It's intimidation. You're intimidating him. Intimidation is right. Case falls apart if he can show intimidation. I want a lawyer. Right. Juicy solicitor. Juicy solicitor. He's busy. The man's busy. I'm being intimidated and I know me right. You can okay. see him when he stops being busy. Listen, I want the juicy solicitor and I'm going to keep this buttoned till I see him. Right? We're in the police car. Anything I'm keeping you. this buttoned, right? I don't care what you do. No lawyers, nothing's tapes. No matter what you do, this is buttoned. No <laughs> witnesses. He could knock the shite out of in the police car, son. Could knock the living shite. Just returning these. First lesson I teach them. What to do when they're picked up by the busies. The second one's drugs. Find a supplier you trust, stick to him, never inject. Two lessons. Both crucial. Everything else is bullshit. Bollocks. Get changed. Mixed fortunes for our teams yesterday. The first 11 drew 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Man of the match, Atherton. Yeah. The fourth years won 3-1. Yeah. Man of the match, Bonner. Yeah. The third years... Is this a misprint, Mr. Mackenzie? <laughs> That's enough, thank you. Quiet, please. We fielded seven men and a goalie as blind as a bat. He only touched the ball 14 times. That was to pick it out the back of the net. I think you owe me an explanation, you know what I mean? Why didn't you turn up? 
What you said to Lulu was out of order. I've explained all about that. It's both to Trevor. He says you're racist. <laughs> Hey. I'm not a racist. That kid was out of order. He needed to learn a lesson. Okay. He got it, and that's tough. Yeah, but he learned a lesson. You know what I mean? I want you to tell him I'm not a racist. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. If you don't, I'll take it further. You know what I mean? Well, I'm going to bequeath my body to medical science. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm a member of the NUT. So is Trevor. Yeah, but Trevor's in the wrong. It's personal. It's not a union matter. If I hadn't voted to opt out, would you? That's got nothing to do with it. It's a personal matter between you Bollocks. and Trevor. Bollocks! Um, can I tell you something? In confidence. I think you were right to say what you said. In confidence? A few years ago, I applied for a job in China. Greedy! Too greedy, Tommy Lyle! The master gave me a wonderful reference. I passed it round the staff room. He went round beaming till the penny dropped. He wanted to get rid of me. Everybody in the staff room knew what was going on. They just hadn't got the heart to tell me. I mean, I'm sure they laughed a lot when I wasn't there. They just couldn't manage to tell me to my face. And the model is? Well, it's... Not easy to be brave when you know you're not wanted. It, it's not easy to give them an excuse. Are you talking about you? Sorry? Queer. It was you getting called a queer. You can pass the ball now and again, Tommy, you know what I mean? Just once in a bloody while. Is your mum coming tonight? No. Why not? She's on holiday. Sorry. Sorry. You all right? I hate parents tonight. A few spelling mistakes, but that's about all. I wish we had a few more like him. Everybody else reckons he's a right pain in the ass. Different teaching methods, you know what I mean? He's tall and thin. Fair hair, right? Short and stocky. Black hair. Oh. Well, another term coming to an end. It's amazing, isn't it? Another term coming to an end. Flies. You're saying my daughter's antisocial. That's what it means. Not a very pleasant attitude. What kind of things that to say about a young girl? Say anything like that again about my daughter, and I'll pull every hair out of your head. Do you got it? Yeah, he's learning. I know his weak points, and uh, I'm working on them. What are his weak points? Well, another term's coming to an end. It's amazing, isn't it? Another term's coming to an end. It flies, it just flies by. Will she pass her level? Well, not right now. She's only 11. But he makes mistakes. You don't correct them. That's because I don't want to destroy his confidence. Now, a kid does a bit of work. He doesn't want to see red rings and crosses all over it. Do you know what I mean? Another term coming to an end. It's amazing, isn't it? Another term coming to an end. The older you get, the faster it goes. It's flying by these days. It's absolutely flying by. He just ought to read more widely. I mean, that's the best advice I can give. Just... just read more widely. Read more widely? Mm. I've uh, no complaints about written work at all. Uh, the other day she wrote a piece about her mother and it was brilliant. The only thing I'm worried about is class participation. What did she write? 
Sorry? About her mother. She said the mother can speak three languages, can do a million and one things around the house. It's here. Is there something wrong? Her mother's dead. She died two years ago. Hello. Good man. Full of energy. Sometimes too much energy. Yeah. But you need to sit and Excuse me. Where's Mr. Sharp? He just popped out of the toilet. We've been waiting here half an hour. McGuire. I see you tomorrow. Third and final written warning. Right now there are parents waiting to see you. Always good, you know what I mean? Uh could it come for Palo de Joda Ho Ho? Punctuation's good, spelling's good. Chun Ji Tong built him fat do the gay hole. But she could be a bit more imaginative, a bit more creative, you know what I mean? A book all you go Kui Hang Fado de Sigan. They don't quite understand. On, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, yeah. I could always go somewhere else. What? Anywhere. Club. Anywhere you like. Back to your place. Yeah, if you like. You always did fancy yourself. You know me? Yeah. You taught me when I was 11. <laughs> She died during the holidays. I'll have a word with Sahira tomorrow. Yeah, just not really interested. Forget about him. Do you think I'm racist? No. I didn't even think about it. But even if I had thoughts about it, I'd still say it. It's doing me head in. Hey, it's not funny. No. But it is a joke. Drew, I'll get bored. I'll play the feminist card. I've seen you get bored, play the working class card. Trevor gets bored, he plays the race card. It's a game. No, I'm not enjoying it. Would you want me to talk to him? How's that gonna look? Bad. Try Joanna. She's black. Exactly. You off? Yeah. I'll take it all. Drew, please. I didn't mean it like that. Yes, you did. Your wife's getting on with someone. And you want to get even? Forget it. He's right. 
You can't do the job properly. If you do, you end up killing yourself. So why even try? What's he called? The governor. Behind that. You awake? said was reasonable. You would say that, wouldn't you, Joanna? Meaning? What's the female equivalent of an Uncle Tom? Whatever it is, you're it, love. Calling a colleague a racist amounts to professional misconduct. I think you should... Bollocks! I didn't know you were going to go crying to miss, do you know what I mean? But what else could I do? I thought there was a bit more to you than that, lad, do you know what I mean? You wouldn't talk about it. You built like a brick shit house, so I couldn't fight you, so what else could I do? Look, I'm going, because this kind of thing's a heap of crap, do you know what I mean? This white, middle-class, trendy way of sorting things out. It's heap of crap, and I'm having nothing to do with it. But I'll make two points. I could make dozens. I could tell you what it's like to be black in the school, Joe. To walk up to people and find they've suddenly changed the conversation. I mean, I could go on and on about all that sort of crap, but I won't. Two points. One, being black and being gay aren't the same thing at all. I didn't say they were. Half the gays I know are married with kids. If you're proud of it, you can flaunt it. If you're ashamed of it, you can hide it. You can't do that with colour. Two! I didn't say they were the same. Two! He's a young kid and he made a mistake. But you went straight for the jugular. Nigger! You didn't treat him the same as everybody else. You didn't treat him the same as any white kid. And that makes you a racist, la. Okay. That makes you racist through and through. I'm coming. We're not finished. Yeah? But I'm bored. He's a real diplomat, isn't he? Is Emma there, Maggie? No. Oh, yeah, she did. I, I don't know where she's gone. I think she might Give. have gone. You keep your nose I'm out. I'm telling them what I think of them. You're not. Let go of the bloody no. thing, will you? Drew. What's wrong with you? Find out where the bastard lives and break his bloody legs.
I used to grab all the overtime going in that bloody factory. And you never complained then because it That's was money. Fair. Time and a half. That's not this fair. This is just the same. We've got three kids. We've always needed money. Will you listen a minute? Will you just listen a minute? This is just the same. I've got to put the hours in. I've got to show Will and the money comes later. The rewards come later. A better job and all that. All that comes later, but I've got to put the hours in. You worked overtime in that factory, Drew, yeah. But once you were home, you were home. Work was forgotten. Now there's me and the kids. I can go all day without speaking to an adult. You come home. Eventually you do come home. But I still don't get to talk to an adult. Because you're marking books or at a meeting or fast asleep and... I mark you. books and go to meetings and flog myself to death for you and the kids, right? No. You do it because of me and the kids. I've got three kids to look after. I'm not going to stray far. That means you can do what the bloody hell you like. Bollocks. You stay home. I'll go to work and you stay home and watch the kids. What could you do? Sorry. I haven't had your chances, have I? Sorry. I'm making tea here. Eh? yourself in the mirror when you're crying. Good one. We've all done that, haven't we? Good one. Childhood is... Making the lights go pointy through your teeth. Yes, childhood is... Looking for rainbows in an oily gutter. Oh, yes, that's a beauty. That's a poem in its own right, that. Making pictures of the cracks in the ceiling. Good one, done it. Still do it. Crack it. Childhood is... Fighting with my sister. Yep. Crying when your mum and dad argue. Lovely. And you always think the worst, don't you? They're going to get divorced and that. Even sleeping with the lights on. Yep. And reading with a torch under the sheets. Yep. Pulling the wings off flies. Blowing off frogs. <laughs> Picking chili off the street. Breaking your mate's tree on papers because you're jealous. Tickling on your mum's feet to wake her up on Christmas Day. Waiting for your dad to go out and sneak into your mum's bed. Right, we're going to watch a television programme, but don't think you're going up there for a dos, cos you're not. I want you to read the questions on these worksheets, then watch the programme with them uppermost in your mind. Where's Sahira? The toilet side. Will you tell her we're up in audio-visual? Right, line up outside. Okay. Quietly. Come in. Too bad we saw it first. All right, JT. Give the video. Come on, give me the radio. Yeah. We were watching a video. Anyway. Hey, I saw we. I've booked the room. It's all right. <laughs> 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 You haven't. Sahara! 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 Bring them in and we'll all watch it together. Eh? No, you're not on. I've booked the room. You haven't, right? Come on, what's the matter with you? Stop the ambulance now! Knock and wait. Can you phone an ambulance, please? What for? Sahira's caught herself, sir. Show me. Sir, it's urgent! Show me. <sighs> Back to your classes, please. Back to your classes, everyone. Has someone called an ambulance? Has someone called an ambulance? No. Kids! Give us your fucking car keys!
as the father's wishes. Yes? Come in, Drew. Take a seat. Well, she's going to make a full recovery. Now, when Sahira comes back, she'll be in Moe's English group. You're blaming me? She just wants to be anonymous. You're blaming me? I told you and I told you she needed help. It's not down to me. It might be down to money, to what you choose to spend our money on, but it's not down to me, right? Right. Thank you, Drew. All right. Well, I said all right. Nothing's changed. 